If you could experience a video game for the first time again, what would it be? Portal 1 2, it's just not the same once you know the puzzles. Knights of the Old Republic for the reveal. Firewatch. Mario 64. Boring answer, but it was such a mind blower when it came out. Zelda A Link to the Past. Playing Stardew Valley with my wife was beautiful. Mass Effect series. The Elder Scrolls Oblivion. Super Mario 3. Oh to experience the thrill of uncovering a warp whistle again. World of Warcraft. I still feel nostalgic for walking into Iron Forge for the very first time. Subnautica 100 Baby. Zelda Ocarina of Time. Bioshock. GTA Vice City. Outer Wilds and it's not even close. Half-Life. RDR1. Dayok. Journey. Metal Gear Solid. The Return of Aubrey Din. Final Fantasy VII or Resident Evil. Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. Hollow Knight probably. It was amazing realizing just how much bigger the world was than I anticipated. Discovering new areas always came with such a rush. Red Dead Redemption 2. Fallout 3. Breath of the Wild. The Witcher 3. Baldur's Gate. Super Mario Bros. 3, I dreamed about SM3 for weeks as a kid, even dreamed about new levels. Crash Bandicoot. That is all. Additionate if I played it for the first time now I would have a totally different kind of experience. Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. Chrono Trigger. Pokemon Blue or Red. Or Gen 3 if I hadn't played the previous two either. Wish I could just dive in, oblivious to what a type was, what Pokemon are good, and where to go next. And no I would not buy the guidebook let me fail. Borderlands 2. Halo Reach. Bloodborne. That game had me by the ball so bad when I first played it. Kerbal Space Program. There's no other game that has ever created a feeling of accomplishment like KSP did the first time I reached orbit, landed on the Mun, or rendezvous two of my craft in orbit. Bully. Minecraft. Life is strange. Shadow of the Colossus. Especially the fight in the desert where you have to ride your horse and shoot arrows at the absurdly huge flying one. I'd probably go with the Baldur's Gate series or maybe the Ock Fallouts, but part of me wants to say the return of the Aubra Din, just because it's an amazing game but doesn't have a ton of replay value. Oh, that or Disco Elysium, but that has decent replay value. I've played through like three or four times and still feel like I've only scratched the surface. Starcraft Old School RuneScape Witcher 3 Earthworm Jim Echo the Dolphin Tides of Time The Last of Us Telltale Games The Walking Dead, that ending messed me up. Outer Wilds. Contra. Something about getting that red flame throw a thing the first time was a hit of dopamine for my six year old self lol. Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Portal 1 and 2. Simply because I love puzzle games and would love to solve all the rooms for the first time again. I replay the games every year or so, but at this point I've pretty much memorized all the chambers. Sims. It was my favorite game but nowadays I'm easily bored by designing people and homes. Sad. Oblivion. Naya Automata. 
the entire Uncharted series. I know it's more than one game, but man. GTA 4 Persona 5 The Witcher 3 The Wild Hunt Yakuza 0 Animal Crossing I was doing chemo when I first started playing the game and every once in a while, I get a I feel like I've been poisoned flashback while playing. Horizon Zero Dawn Valheim I'm having a hard time restarting it for the new updates and biomes since I played the shit out of it when it first launched. Other games I can go back and enjoy for nostalgia, but this ISNT old enough for that to be a motivator yet sad. Final Fantasy VII Detroit Become Human Fallout 3 Walking out of Vault 101 for the first time was breathtaking. Subnautica That game hooked me hard, right from the start I was scared to go into the water at night and would just sit on top of my life pod and wait for the sun to come up. I had to work up to exploring at night and the sense of tension throughout the entire game was something I'd never felt with a video game before or since. EverQuest My First MMORPGs World of Warcraft would be a close second. Kingdom Hearts Playing the first game was so much fun when I didn't know what to expect or what Disney World I recognized would come next. Disco Elysium Max Payne Cotter Terraria FFX Life is Strange Adding all these to my list of games I wanna try out soon. Far Cry 3 Outer Wilds is the only answer, and I can't tell you why. Black Ops 2 on the PS3 in its prime time. AC Black Flag God of War 2018 Just finished it and it was great. New favorite hands down. Mass Effect RDR2 I was constantly in awe of what they created. Edit spelling. FF10 actually 7 to 10. Spyro 2, so many puzzles and secrets to find. Just a fun game but once you beat it there's no more mystery. Dragon Age Inquisition. Elden Ring. Undertale. RuneScape 2007. Subnautica for sure. Quake 2. Or Diablo 2 Low D. Or Assassin's Creed Origins. So many stunning games have come and gone but those three stand out for me. Hollow Knight. When I was 17 I met a boy who made me play his favorite video game with him, mostly to fill the time between those early multibangs. I would give anything to play Halo through with him that first time. Having him realize I was gamer and made a good pair too, listening to him be so passionate, kill all those fucking marines just to see what they did. We've been together 20 years now, married for 10, our daughter turns 9 next month. She plays Halo with us now. Mass Effect 2 Fallout 4 or Jack and Dexter Kingdom Hearts 2 Okami it's so good, so gorgeous, so amazing, so unique, so funny.